I just saw Deadpool 3 and as a sequel it takes a new direction from 1 and 2. The first part of this review will be spoiler free, but look in the description for the time with spoilers. In Deadpool 3 we get to check in on other Marvel characters that we haven't seen in ages. You can see the Disney influence and it has slightly tamed the franchise in some aspects, such as drug use and sex overtones which are reduced but Disney left Ryan Reynolds alone to be just as raunchy as ever in language and violence. The fight scenes and music montages are what make this sequel over the top with hilarity heretofore unsurpassed by a Deadpool movie. I was fortunate enough to see the movie in a high def LED cinema and it was visually appealing while rocking out to the soundtrack of this movie. Overall, I would put this movie slightly below Avengers Endgame, but probably better than Infinity War. It is a much watch in the theater and there was not a span of more than a five minute stretch where I was not laughing out loud. Ryan Reynolds constantly breaking the fourth wall belittling both Disney, Fox, and his other co-stars made this at least as funny as Deadpool 2. I would give it four out of five stars. Now for spoilers. While there are more cameos than ever, the funniest and by far best is the scene where Chris Evans appears in a blue suit with the movie and Deadpool hinting that he is Captain America. Chris Evans then appears as the Human Torch. His performance was hilarious and you could tell he didn't mind not taking himself too seriously. Without giving too much of the movie away, Deadpool gets Chris Evans killed, or does he? Stick around after the credits to see the true answer to that question. The other group of superheroes that appear are Jennifer Garner as Elektra, Channing Tatum as Gambit, Daphne Keene returned as X-23, the young girl that Logan saved from the last Wolverine movie, and Wesley Snipes as Blade. The movie does a great job allowing each individual character to have their 15 minutes of fame and have some plot development and the jokes that ensue, as you can imagine, from each character in this type of movie only add to the hilarity. Channing Tatum trying to do a French accent about made me laugh so hard I almost threw my popcorn on the ground. While this is not an all-encompassing list of the cameos and new characters, I don't want to give too much away. The only character not present I wished to see but wasn't there was Cable. Do yourself a favor and see this movie in a packed theater to truly enjoy the experience and humor as part of the collective group. Side note. This will be one year where you will not have to search for a Halloween costume to suit each of your family members.